All of us have goals. Get back in the weight room. Some bigger than others. You might say Nigel Talton's goal is too ambitious, maybe even impossible. But that's because you haven't met him. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. This 24-year-old Middle Georgia native Go. is training to qualify for the 2016 Summer Olympics. He's been on this road to Rio since his 11th grade year at Peach County High School. I remember one meet, one home meet, we had to run the four by four. Each person ran a 400. <laughs> I remember I walked off the track because I was like, man, I'm not running no 400, man. I do the 100 and the 200, but I ain't doing this. That's when mom stepped in. She said, your grandma watching. Just run it for your, run it for your grandma. Nigel's grandmother passed away when he was in the fifth grade. Hearing those words from his mom served as motivation. But one word his coach used really struck a nerve. He kept saying mediocre. Do you want to be mediocre by quitting and be a coward? I was trying to be hard in front of my friends and teammates, but in my head it kind of got to me. I was like, don't coach call me a mediocre coward because I quit. I walked off on the team. So that, from that day, that feeling, I didn't want to feel that no more. That relay team took home the gold medal that day. Nigel ended up earning a college scholarship. He ran for Iowa Wesleyan and then Kennesaw State. After experiencing junior nationals, he knew he wanted to run with the big boys in the Olympics. I just want to show kids around this area that like hard work pays off. Because, you know, like everybody knows everything about football around here. They don't know nothing about track or any other sport. They just main focus around here is football. So I just want to show hard work pays off and that I can make it to the Olympics in 2016. You mentioned your grandma and how much she meant to you when she passed away when you were young. What do you think she would say to you if you do qualify for Rio? My grandma, she'll be smiling not qualifying, probably mimic whatever I do when I cross the finish line. A finish line he's been working toward for seven years. Yes.